Hi, I'm Charlie Ferdinando and I'm the Regional Community Partnerships Director for London and the South East. When I think of being considerate, I think of people who are thoughtful, I think of people who are intentional about the way that they live, and I think about people who never seem to be in a rush with things. It's a bit like the, the great footballers. They're not slow, but they always have time and space and that's part of what makes them effective. If you've ever been on a plane, you'll know the moment where they do the, the, the flight safety demonstration <laughs> and they always say, something they always say is make sure that you uh, put the oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on someone else and help somebody else. And I think it's the same with life um, and in work that we need, to, um, we need to learn to deal with ourselves and reflect before, often before we're able to help other people. As you go through life, I think you realise sometimes that what's inside always comes out and, and especially in the, the pressure moments where, where things are difficult, uh, there's nothing you can do about that. For me as a dad, um, I've realised that when, I, uh, when I've got angry and when I feel like I'm not in control, Actually, that, that is more, uh, more about me than, than the boys. Sometimes I used to try and think that it was uh, about them, try and blame them. But actually, it's, they're a bit like a mirror up to me to say, no, these are things that I have to deal with and I need to, to work and, and reflect on. Um, and normally, actually, that's what needs sorting out uh, rather than them. So for me, being considerate is about learning to love myself, it's about uh, looking after myself, um, it's about developing and changing and being, realising that I'm not the finished article, but it's also very much about loving others and being thoughtful about them. I think we can become more considerate by being thoughtful about other people and about valuing other people. I don't think we will give people our thought time unless we really value them. Being considerate in practice, I think, looks like really listening well, uh, listening with your, with your heart and your, and your eyes as well as your ears. And it also looks like reflecting, reflecting on situations and things that have happened. It might mean going back to somebody and asking for their forgiveness. It looks like choosing to buy things ethically because you care about uh, the people who have made the clothes. And it looks like including people even when you might not want to. Hello, my name is George Franks and I'm Executive Principal at Oasis Academy Connell and Oasis Academy Marksbury Road. Being considerate to myself whilst including others marks the cornerstone of my passion for inclusion. My passion for inclusion has a long history going back to my childhood where Sue, my childhood friend, had spina bifida. At that time, children with spina bifida or in wheelchairs did not attend mainstream schools. But to me as a nine-year-old, it was preposterous that Sue couldn't go to the same school as me and instead had to get a taxi, travel across town, go to school, get back in the taxi and come round. Luckily for Sue, her mum fought the local authority, she fought the local um, head teacher and managed to get her into our mainstream school. Sue went on to have a successful career and a happy family. What she left in me is a legacy that will continue and I truly believe that many children's education has been improved by the fact that I knew her as a child and my belief that everybody should be educated in their local school, in their local community. This has been driven by my belief in inclusion and that every single child has the right to attend their local school. I know it's a utopian vision, however it's one to which I will always strive. To be considerate is about respecting people's differences and by allowing yourself to be open to that, to be considerate of their feelings, means that you take people with you along the journey rather than dragging them behind. Mm -hmm.